everybody, we are Alex and Sierra. And we're here with Warehouse. So we are independent artists, which Woo! is great most of the time. <laughs> um, I think as far as something that I've taken with me that we've learned and that we've grown from knowing is an open line of communication with everyone that you work with, everyone that you're around, your friends, everybody, literally everyone. Open line of communication. Everyone has to be able to tell you exactly what they're feeling at the exact moment. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to tell the people around you exactly what you want without thinking you're going to hurt other people's feelings. Yeah. Just You have to be able to communicate and be open and be honest with the people that you're working with. Yeah, a lot of things can get lost in translation, especially when it's going down the line. It's like the game of telephone. Yeah, um, you tell one person one thing, then they tell another person something. And it gets and misconstrued. Um, yeah, so definitely having good communication is something that we value. Yeah. Um, and as far as like a pro to being independent is that we can take complete control of our creativity and our um, like artistic view of songs. We can pick our favorite songs. There's a lot of politics that go into what songs go on an album when you have a label. Yeah. Um, and independent, we can choose. The last album we did is called As Seen on TV, and it's kind of uh, the closing of the X Factor chapter. Uh, we did five of the covers from the show that aren't available anywhere and they were our five favorite songs and it seemed to be other people's five favorite songs. So we chose those and then added some covers at the end to kind of round it out. You mean originals? I mean some originals at the end to kind of round it <laughs> I out. Was like, what? The instruments is a big part of the live show. So being a part of the band, because we have a band with us on this run, and being a part of the band and, and being able to interact musically and not just have our backs turned the whole time and facing, I mean, backs turned to the band the whole time and facing out and singing and not connecting with them. Being able to turn around and play guitar, being able to look over and really get into the piano is a big part of the live show. So mm -hmm. we're, we're really excited about this run now because you're playing so much. It's going to yeah. be really cool. I'm excited. I was always like, what do I do with my hands? And yeah. I have something to do. <laughs> yeah, and we've always got, she does a lot of percussion, and then when we've got just us doing acoustic, there's a lot more beatboxing. When we have a drummer, I don't really beatbox a whole lot. Cause yeah, but the way our show is set up <laughs> is we have like the full band songs and a little acoustic section where it's more intimate and just yeah. us two, and then the full band, band comes again. comes back out. Yep. <laughs> we feel really, really lucky to have the friends and fan base that we do. Uh, because, you know, we are on a TV show, um, the show got really in-depth into our personalities and our relationship and who we are as people, and I feel like that made people a little bit more connected to us, because they're not just listening to us sing, they're getting, you know, a look into our lives, and that's carried on after the show. And it's also interesting, too, because as we meet people on the road and, and the more intimate uh, meetings that we have with people, we start to realize how much people know about us and that we don't know anything about them you know it's kind of a strange dichotomy between us and the, and the people that we get to meet so it's fun getting to know people and getting to know who listens to our music and who cared about the show and who cares about us you know it's it's interesting we have people from 13 year old g girls I mean we have even younger we've got children yeah. as fans and then we've had 80 year old uh, couples come in for our meet and greets too so it's interesting to see the sort of hodgepodge mix that we get it's really cool mm -hmm. Our goals, as far as music, is to release more original tunes. Um, hopefully, get on the tunes. radio. Tunes. The radio. Hopefully, get on the radio um, and get some attention past the show. And um, we're really grateful for everything that the show did for us. Obviously, we know we that wouldn't we wouldn't. Be here without yeah, it, we wouldn't sure. be here without it. But we're really excited to hopefully prove to people that didn't watch the show that we are artists. We write our own music. We play instruments and that we are still here. Yeah, and also, <laughs> uh, you know, we're doing a West Coast tour right now uh, for the next two weeks. We definitely plan on hitting the East Coast at some point. Uh, mm -hmm. We miss we miss it over there, so we have to get home. Yeah, Florida boy. Yeah, very Florida. <laughs> he needs more beer. <laughs> yeah, but touring touring's always a big part of our plans. Uh, that's the most fun thing we can do. Yeah, imagine. and honestly, we're playing music and we're on tour, so 2017 is already great.